What up, what up, what up? Bankroll 10 bet it up. The Chevelle is finished. Yes, the SN can get, go lower. I already made it lower and I can go lower with it. This car originally was a bolt in coil over setup in the back and that's a 12 inch coil over. So with me having to put the cross brace and shit in there, it's way lower in person than on the camera, especially with the light underneath there. But bolt in coil overs are longer because you got a lot more distance to travel from the mount on the rear end side and where it mounts up into the car. So anyways, I put the cross brace in it, boom. We can bring the ass in down. Fix the starter issue with it, the car fires right up, boom. It's got a big block in there, but it's going to get an LS motor put in it. So it's leaving Friday to get LS motor swap, this and that. But anyways, as for everything that's going on here, the car is all set up. Got plenty of clearance. Boom, plenty of clearance up in there. Boom, I can go lower. The car is completely empty of fuel right now. I can see that set up underneath there, boom. That's why I'm not a parts changer. I am a custom fabricator. That's what I do, it's all custom. You know, I wasn't supposed to put a cross brace in it. It was supposed to work with the uppers being, uh, the upper mounts for the coilovers. They were gonna stay right there. And I was gonna do a custom setup on an angle with the lower mounts and this and that, and then it just didn't work. So I had to put the cross brace in there, which is better. Cross braces in there, boom. 24s are on it, boom. The car is very dirty. This side, you know, looks like it's tucking just a little bit more. But the way the ground is, the way the floor is, the front of the car is a little bit higher on the driver's side. The front, I probably haven't even pushed it down since uh, taking it off the lift. But anyways, had to go get the motor swapped. Got a big block in there now. The LS motor will probably be lighter. I did not touch the front end of this car except for change the wheels. Um, so once, I get this jack handle out of the way. But once the motor gets swapped and then able to drive it down the road and stuff like that, the front might need to be realigned because it might go up higher. So with the motors being lighter, but we'll figure it all out. But it's done, all done, all the fat work done underneath there, boom. So it's going bye-bye. I would have already put it next door, but we couldn't get the golf cart started to pull the Regal out. There's a Regal I'll get you guys some video of. I'm about to go up on the lift tomorrow so that way I can weld the oil pan up. Oil pan's got a hole in it. But anyways, all right, y'all. I got so much shit in here I'm trying to go around this car, get every angle so y'all can see it. I just got too much shit going on. 71. Convertible Chevelle. Bed up customs, bankroll town. That's all I got for you now. I know somebody was like, uh, show us. You just you just show us the finished product. This and that. No, there's numbers to my videos. I'm not trying to make a million dollars off of videos. Three minute video here, four minute video there. I don't have time to sit down at no desk and go on a computer and do all this editing and this and that. I record it, I post it. So there you go. Um, look up the other videos and you'll see the process. There's probably what, five, six videos of this Chevelle now. You'll see the start to the end. So there you go. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all though. Thank you, Tim. I'm out.